So today, the 11th of January 2018, we are uh, launching the direct connection between New York and Nairobi. So it means in precise terms that you can go to your travel agent or our website and buy a ticket to take a plane and fly direct flight from New York to Nairobi or from Nairobi to New York. It's a, it's a new opening for us as, a, as an airline as well because it's a, it's a new product, it's going to be our longest flight. Um, it's really like opening a new chapter of uh, our industrial history. We're going to operate the Dreamliner. Um, we're going to fly roughly 14 hours each way. So it's going to be a daily flight. But just the fact of being able to pick up a Monday or a Wednesday or a Friday or whatever day suits you and you are always sure to have a flight makes this project a challenge but also makes it somehow exceptional for us. The nice part of connecting New York to, to Nairobi or Nairobi to New York, whatever, whatever is the origin, uh, is that it really is not addressed to a specific group of people. It's really addressed to the wide range of all the airline customers that we can have. Of course, every airline is always having in mind that there's, there are people th that will be connecting between the two cities because of business purposes. And that's one of the key areas in which you look. The US market is the number one source market for tourism uh, in our country. Uh, before you take more than 20 hours to fly into Nairobi from the US, now it will be definitely uh, less than that. But the exciting thing is going to encourage uh, uh, businesses, investors, new investors into, into Africa. So Kenya will be the gateway for Sub-Saharan Africa. Uh, conferences in terms of uh, meetings, and this is our agenda as tourism, as well as uh, then uh, the leisure tourists. So we hope the number that we have here of approximately 100,000 arrivals from the US will be able to be much more than that. Uh, we are very excited here in the ministry uh, because we have actually made a major, major uh, impact in terms of the overall transport uh, sector in this country. The Kenyan people are the beneficiaries. Uh, secondly, you know, there is a trade between Kenya and the U.S. Goods uh, going to America, you find that um, they'll be taking short at the time. In particular, you know, the Angoa program, which was... Uh, brought in so many years ago, whereby Kenya is exporting, for example, horticultural products, you know, to the U.S. Uh, these ones have been going through Europe, and so the quality of those products sometimes have been negatively impacted. And so the fact that now this AGOA program will be supported by these direct flights, I can tell you for sure that um, the quality, the value realized by business people will be enhanced. It's going to position Kenya as a center for investment, we shall be connecting with the largest economy globally. You make it possible to, to have a dinner in Nairobi and a breakfast in New York. That's what makes it a very nice project.